Decisions being made in Olympia in the last few years have impacted our local community. We have some significant issues in our judicial system. As I've talked to some law enforcement about this issue, they're reducing the penalties for crimes and they're turning these folks out onto the street to repeat offend. What we needed, I would submit, is actually more funding for more training and making sure that we're not doing things in Olympia that undermine their ability to keep our community safe. Next, I would say probably education, uh, talking to even teachers, you know, they're very frustrated. They're having to dip into their own wallets to provide basic materials for their classrooms. And then this top-down approach with the curriculum where the teachers aren't free to sort of explore how they want to teach the kids per their classroom. There's a lot of support actually for school choice where the money would follow the backpack versus funding this sort of archaic, outdated, bloated system where the money circulates the top and never really makes it to the classroom. Bellevue and Kirkland are just, you know, getting insanely expensive. I think the average in Bellevue right now is 900000 We increase the property tax, well, that trickles down to rents. Folks who cannot come up with $5,000 or more for first, last, and a deposit, well, where do they end up? They become acclimated to the homeless community. They develop substance abuse issues. You know, maybe they had a predisposition to some sort of mental health. If you keep dumping money into this homelessness industrial complex, you are going to get more homelessness, which is what we have right now. Yeah, I mean, people want the flexibility and the freedom to be in their cars. I mean, we're not using light rail, and we need to be investing in increasing capacity versus more bike lanes and, you know, all of that sort of stuff. And maintaining our environment is certainly a concern. But what they're doing is going to more detrimentally impact the environment. When gas goes up a couple bucks a gallon. These folks that are going to be paying more in gas tax, they're not going out and buying a Prius this year. I think what really sets me apart from my opponent is this idea that government can solve all these problems. If you ask me, you know, how do we solve our transportation problem, in my approach would be to reach out to people I know in the community, stakeholders who understand that particular issue. I'm Michelle Darnell. I'm running for State Senate in the 48th District. If you're not quite happy with what you've seen in the last few years, you can always go to my website, reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you. I love hearing ideas for how we can solve some of these problems that are really affecting Washington State right now. I may not have all the answers, but I will certainly do my very best to find the people that do. I'm Michelle Darnell, and I did approve this message.